After changing the world of phones with its iPhone and tablets with the iPad, it now looks like Apple is going after the humble television market. And although there's a certain British broadcaster that's going to be kicking up a fuss if it doesn't change, <coughs> the world and his dog is calling it the ITV. Tech Radar's been collecting rumours about the ITV for ages now, so we've put together our quick guide as to what could be arriving with Apple's next generation viewing tech. First up, they've already tried the set-top box option, so this time we're expecting to see a proper television. Apple's already shown off its prowess with displays for its Macs, but despite being loved by designers, they certainly don't come cheap. As for specs, Apple is all about the high end, so expect 1080p high definition and sizes to suit most houses. The current talk is that you'll be able to opt for between 32 and 55 inches of screen. The real key for ITV will be the user interface, with Steve Jobs telling his biographer that the company has finally cracked it. When it's Jobs and Apple saying something like this, we're expecting simple, effective design and an interface that all but marches you up to the iTunes virtual counter and readies your wallet to pay for movies and TV. Given the focus of Siri in the iPhone, it's not beyond belief that we'll see some kind of voice control baked into the iTV, and we wouldn't rule out some form of motion control, given the success enjoyed by old-time rival Microsoft. Apple does face one massive issue, having enough content to make the service work properly. And even with the wealth of potential on-demand offerings, many are suggesting that the service will need to be complemented with a set-top box, be it satellite cable or terrestrial, to enjoy the best linear content like sport. Last but not least, when are we likely to see ITV? Well, some are suggesting testing is well underway, but this is a tricky part of the market and Apple will presumably not rush out a half-baked product. We're waiting on an official announcement, but we'd be surprised if it manages to take a bow in 2012.